Welcome to my first Kotlin multi-platform course where I am going to teach you how to build a project that will target multiple different platforms using a single programming language. Now first and foremost, let me showcase the project that we are going to build. So here what you are seeing is our actual front-end website, which does represent a blog. Then we also have the admin panel where we can uh, sign in here as an admin and uh, actually modify and manage our uh, content by uh, creating, updating and deleting our blog posts. Besides this uh, front end, we also have our own uh, customer backend server which is uh, built on top of the Ktor. And finally, we have our own uh, Android application which uh, is fetching all those uh, same uh, blog posts that we can see on our website. First, let's start with our actual blog website. So here we have a main section that does display uh, four different posts. And below this uh, main section, we can also see other different sections that also showcase uh, latest posts. Then we have this uh, sponsored uh, post section. Here we are displaying only two uh, posts that are actually sponsored. And we have our popular posts uh, section as well. Also, if there are some more posts to showcase here, then we can just press this uh, show more button and the uh, more posts uh, will be fetched immediately. Then, down below, we can also see a newsletter section where we can allow our visitors to actually uh, type their email addresses and uh, subscribe to our newsletter quite easily. Also, if we scroll all the way up, you can see that we have uh, different uh, categories to choose from here. And whenever we select uh, each one of those uh, categories, uh, then a specific post here will load that belong to that uh, same category as well. We can also use this uh, search bar to actually search for a specific post uh, in our database. And everything here works uh, just fine. Now we can select one of those uh, posts from here. And then we can read more about it. As you can see down below, each and every post that we create here can contain uh, multiple different uh, elements that are uh, stylized in a different way. So for example, here we have styled this uh, text as a title, this one as a subtitle, this one as a code block, then down below we have some different uh, GIF images, uh, we have also uh, some more different uh, code blocks, uh, subtitles, we have some different uh, links, some more GIFs and so on and so on. Now let's uh, switch to our uh, admin panel. So here we need to first uh, log in if we want to access our admin panel. In this case I'm going to now type the username and password, click uh, sign in. And immediately after that we are going to see our uh, admin panel. On our home page we can see some random joke that we are actually fetching from a third party API. Uh, then we have this uh, create a post page and this is the page where we actually uh, type the data or uh, the actual information of the post that we want to create. So we have a title, subtitle options, we have a category option, we can uh, mark our post as a popular or main or a sponsored. Here we have an input field to actually upload some of our uh, uh, thumbnails or we can use uh, the image URL as a thumbnail of our post. And finally here we have the, the blog editor where we can uh, edit uh, how our post uh, content will actually look like. Now for now I have added uh, only a couple of important different uh, editor controls but with the knowledge that you're going to get from this course you will be able to implement uh, as many editor controls as you want. Uh, then after this create post page we also have a my post page and in this page we are basically loading uh, all those uh, posts that were created by this uh, same uh, user that has uh, signed in with this admin panel. And from here of course we can search different kind of uh, uh, posts from here and we can even uh, just uh, select one of those uh, posts that we want to delete from our database. So it's quite convenient. And finally of course we have the logout option to uh, log out uh, from our uh, admin panel. Now both our admin panel and our uh, website here is uh, fully responsive. So if you go to our um, main page here, if I try to zoom in here then you will see that uh, immediately those uh, posts will shrink to adapt our screen size. As you can see it works uh, just fine. We can also access our navigation uh, from here and if I zoom in here furthermore we will be able to access this uh, search bar uh, just like that. And down below if you scroll you will see that uh, all those posts are actually stacked uh, on top of each other. And as you can see if I zoom out a little bit then we should be able to see here uh, two posts, then uh, three posts and uh, so on and so on. So our website is uh, fully responsive. And now let's uh, switch back to our uh, Android application. So from here as you can see we can also uh, read uh, all those uh, posts uh, from our database. We can uh, go here on our navigation drawer and actually select one of those uh, categories from uh, here as well. 
we can just uh, go back from here we can uh, search from here for a specific pose for example uh, jetpack let's uh, click a search we are immediately fetching that uh, same post let's uh, select now that post and a new page here will appear where we can read that uh, same post uh, from our website and also that post of course will contain uh, all necessary information from uh, our uh, from our database as you can see we can now select for example this one and it will also have uh, that uh, same data that we have seen on our website now about the course requirements you should have a basic knowledge about uh, android development a basic knowledge about the jetpack compose and uh, being familiar with a uh, co-web uh, compose html framework is a plus but uh, it's not a must next about uh, technologies that uh, we are going to use so for building a front end of our website we are going to use a co-web which is a compose html framework that i'm going to introduce you with in this course Next, for the backend, uh, we are going to use a CoWeb API, which uh, does represent a server that is uh, built on top of the Ktor. For Android, we will use uh, Jetpack Compose with Material Tree. Uh, then uh, MongoDB will be a single source of truth uh, database that will communicate with our application. And finally, uh, Render.com will be a web hosting where uh, we are going to host and deploy our server. If you are eager to become a full stack developer, uh, then now is the right time to enroll in this course today.